All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC. I'm coming at you guys again with yet the video and today it is Sunday or whatever day you're watching this on and I wanted to drop another list video that I thought would be helpful seeing that it is almost back to school season oh my bad back to school season college classes middle school high school or whatever school you go to I know classes are about to be back in session so I had an idea not the most original list but I still wanted to give my two cents on it and this is going to be my top 10 sneakerhead life hacks for everyday life and for back to school I kind of wanted to cover everything in one video and if I miss something or is there something that you do that you think helps people listen comment it down below let us know we're all here trying to get some keys man we need the keys and notification gang I didn't forget about you so I'm gonna let that roll once again thank you for finessing the bell and I guess I can go ahead and move on to my first off the list and I wanted to talk about this one first just because it kind of backbones everything else we're gonna be talking about now whether you're in high school middle school a college student whether you got bills to pay you know rent to pay whatever sometimes money can be strapped you're going out here buying shoes whatever it might be and after a while just like me or just like anyone who buys things you get tired of it or you say hey I want this new thing man I had this pair of shoes for a while now why not just sell them so the first thing I want to talk about is recycling and I see this a lot more with a lot of people who are into more designer kicks or designer side of things because designer pieces designer shoes don't lose value as much as regular old Nikes Pumas Adidas and regular athletic shoes do but I wanted to include this first in the list because it kind of backbones everything else we all like shoes so you're kind of sewer sneaker heads wherever you call yourself obviously you like shoes you like clothes why not try to keep them in the best condition possible so that maybe when that newest shoe is dropping or you want something else why not just refresh I've been doing that myself selling off stuff that I don't really wear and I use that money to buy something else I think that's a good way to limit yourself because I know I used to say hey there's never enough shoes but trust me you can have enough shoes to a point where it's just a lot of boxes as as you can see behind me so that was number one pretty simple and straightforward recycling just trying to keep up whatever you buy in the best condition possible so when you get done with it you can sell it on StockX, goat slang I'm not the biggest fan of eBay but you can use eBay Instagram grail there's a lot of different places where you can go ahead put some shoes up for sale and make some money back from what you spent or maybe even make more money than you spent when you first bought the shoe so first up number one recycling always keep that in the back of your mind now next up at number two is another one that's pretty self-explanatory but it can save you a little bit of headache and just make your space look a bit better depending on how much space you have to work with and that is going to be shoe racks now a lot of people ask me about what racks are in the back of my videos and I literally bought these racks from Target for 50 bucks and I already know what some of y'all are saying but bro like I, I don't have $50 to spend on racks you know what I'm saying like bro they they, they jugging bro they overcharged bro they crazy thing I'm about to spend $50 for some racks listen you already spend a hundred to two hundred dollars on sneakers you can spare fifty dollars to buy a rack to make it look a little bit more presentable and so it's just not all over the ground also keeps your boxes in better condition some people don't care about the box I know but it just looks a little bit cleaner and I think these racks that I paid 50 bucks for are actually on sale for forty dollars on target.com you got two dubs, bro. You got two 20s. Now, for number three, I have something that goes hand in hand with recycling. Always keeping in the back of your mind that you might want to sell this shoe in the future and to make them last as long as possible. And I recommend Rejuvenator water and stain repellent some type of shoe cleaner or some type of shoe repellent that helps you keep your shoes clean and make them last as long as possible i know not everyone has unlimited money unlimited checks in their wallet so when you do spend 100 200 300 400 how much ever on a pair of shoes you want to make sure that you can keep them clean as long as possible and you don't have to worry about them me personally every time i buy a new pair of shoes i go ahead i take this and i spray on them immediately and i basically just spray and forget I I go out in some rain or whatever someone kind of nicks my shoes I'm not really worried because I'm already protected and another thing that I think goes hand in hand with the war repellent are just a quick clean wipes this is something that you can literally keep in your book bag keep in your pocket if you want to keep in your car door you get something on your shoes take a wipe wipe it off real quick and clean and you don't really have to worry about it so that was number three some weatherproof water and stain repellent and some quick wipes just to add on just for that quick clean up if you're out and about moving around quick wipe 
good to go. Now at number four on the list, we have another one that I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before, and that is shoe trees. But I also have some cheaper alternatives in case you don't feel like buying these guys right here. Now I know you guys have probably been on Instagram or Twitter and seeing people's shoes that kind of look weird, kind of look stretched out, or they have something in them. Of course, they're using shoe trees. Example of some shoes that I use shoe trees in right here. Now these are the Clot Vapor Maxes, and I got these when I was in LA and I had to get an 11 and a half. Now you guys are gonna notice when I'm holding this shoe, it kinda looks weird, it looks a little stretched out, and that's just because whenever I put the shoe on or take it off and put it back in the box, I wanna put the shoe trees in there, mostly to keep shape, but also to stretch out the shoe even when I'm not wearing it, so when I put it back on, it fits a little bit better. So for those shoes where it was a half size small, you know what I'm saying, but it was a really good deal, this could help it just be a more comfortable ride for you. Now some people do also like to take out the insoles, me personally, I don't like to take the insoles out of my kicks I just feel like without the insole they're extremely uncomfortable so those are shoe trees now we have talked about the official shoe tree and how you can use them and what they do but what are some alternatives that I've used before before I even own these things so another cheaper alternative that you guys probably have laying around somewhere in your house at least somewhere and give me one second so I can take them out is socks old white socks and a lot of times when I show off my ones or when I'm wearing my ones, a lot of people ask me, how have they not creased up yet? What do you do to make them not crease up? I literally take some old white socks or old socks I don't wear anymore and I stuff them in the toe every time I put them back in the box. Now these threes right here are from 2011 and I have been using socks religiously ever since I first bought them from DTLR. I remember doing it and they have one crease on each shoe. Another shoe I use socks heavily in are my shadow ones and a lot of my ones that I wear, I just go ahead and stuff them back with socks. I think it's a really good way to do it. Helps out with the shape of your shoes even after wear and if you can take it from me, after years of wearing these things, these threes right here and just putting socks back in them, I think it's a definitely a good method. Now it's a cheap method, y'all know I'm frugal, but that's, it's a good idea, bro. If you don't wanna buy shoe trees or anything like that, just use some socks. And even if your shoe box comes with enough extra paper, you can use that as well in the toe. Now sometimes it doesn't work because a lot of times shoes don't come with that much paper, but listen, the old sock method to keep creases out as much as possible, good way to do it. At number five, I have something that I feel like mostly collectors or those who wanna keep their kicks in most pristine condition as possible would use. But also, once again, going back to recycling, if you wanna keep them as clean as possible and as mint condition as possible, this might be good for you. Now, I know some of you have probably been scrolling Instagram at some point, maybe the Explore page, maybe on Twitter, and you've seen someone maybe wearing Yeezys and it has like this clear film over the bottom. Now, what that is, is a sole shield. And it does exactly what the name says. So, if you wanna to try to keep the bottoms as clean as possible or just keep as much wear off of them try to keep all the stars maybe on like a cement three or four you can use these listen we got sneaker repellent now and we have soul shield so listen no more trash bags no more walmart bags okay we got the keys now we don't need it anymore now at number six is more of a luxury item but it is something that i think is essential and this goes for clothes hats pants shoes i just think you need one of these laying around and no, it's not the fives, but it is the fives, the fuck? No, it's not the Ferrari 14s, but it is the ever so essential lint roller. Now, yes, this is a pink zebra print lint roller because my lint roller is lost, so I just have to use this one. And obviously, you guys know what you use a lint roller for to get off dust and dirt off of clothes, off of hats, especially off of dark color stuff, but you can also use it on suede and more of those more, and uh, how can I say this, more, more sensitive, yeah. More sensitive, sen fuck, dog. More sensitive materials, sheesh. Try saying that three times fast. Sensitive materials, sensitive materials, sensitive, I wasn't that hard, sorry. So you don't have to use like an eraser or a more harsh brush. You can just take this and literally just swipe it off, get all the lint, and it works the best on black suede and black nubuck. I use it on my Aqua 8s all the time. And also, if you need to, get some of those little small things gone, you can also just go ahead and wipe this off too. But I usually try to save it for the uppers. I don't like rubbing on the bottom and then rubbing on the top. I don't know, I just feel like it's just cross-contamination is a thing with shoes. The fuck am I talking about? I need to just get off this number, I'm fucking up. So, the lint roller very essential now next up for number seven i'm gonna keep this one short and sweet a good way to make a shoe look even cleaner is just adding clean laces to it or just buying some new ones now for those of you who are too lazy to actually clean your laces 
just go out buy some new laces and trust me it will make the shoe look a lot better these are not my original cement three laces right here i just ran out the foot locker finish line or whatever and just bought some new flat laces and trust me dirty laces when you see dirty laces and then toss some clean laces on next to them you can definitely see the laces do matter a little bit more than you think at number eight remember once again recycling we're trying to keep our shoes as clean as possible for as long as possible to make them last and if i wanted to we can sell them so the next thing i have for number eight is sneaker shields and you guys already know what these do these are just made to make sure and help you not crease your shoes as much now me personally i don't use sneaker shields very very often but in certain shoes it's kind of necessary just to make sure they don't look crazy so with my forces I always use Singer Shields. I've worn these probably about five or six times, and there is very minimal creasing on these. And something like this can also work for Air Jordan Ones and a whole bunch of other shoes that usually would crease easily. You can cut these things down, kind of mold them to your foot, and make them a better fit for you. But I do personally use these in my forces mostly, and I'm going to try them out in my Air Jordan One. So number eight, Sneaker Shields. We're trying to keep the creases to a minimum and keep the time these joints last to a maximum. Now for number nine. I have something that is pretty self-explanatory and I'm pretty sure some of you guys already follow this but the weather listen it's very simple just pay attention to what the weather is doing if it's sunny you know you're good to go with everything if it's rainy and muddy and real windy and crazy outside you probably don't want to walk out in the all suede red 14s you probably don't want to walk outside in the Ferrari 14s and I know most of y'all have smartphones and listen bro it's, 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 it's this simple Siri what's the weather Okay, here's the weather for today. Boom, 82 degrees in Virginia Beach. That's all. It's a very simple thing, I know, but it's one of those things that can definitely help you out, keep your shoes last as long as possible. You guys will be surprised as many people that were just like, damn, you're right. The weather, rain, mother nature. Fuck, forgot about that. Why the fuck is KSI in the back of my vid? If you don't get this bullshit off my channel, bro, the fuck? Now for number 10, originally it was gonna be for sock lint. Anything that's inside of your shoes, you can take a razor, you can kind of scrape it out and don't really damage the shoe. Definitely helps if you're about to sell it or if you just want it to look better. Now I looked around for any shoes that had sock lint in them and most of mine don't. But remember, if you have an extra razor around, if there's black sock lint all on your shoes, just take it, razor it out doesn't really fuck up your shoes just be gentle with it that's a tip but also at number 10 um for some of you stinky feet motherfuckers out there uh and and you know who you are i'm not calling anybody out but you know who you are i have my times too trust me standing around in yeezys for seven and eight hours at a time they they get pretty hot in that bitch they get pretty hot so my last tip is just gonna be some sneaker deodorizer i don't care if you guys spray some febreze in those joints whatever you gotta do if you know your shoes are on E and they smell like they are on E, trust me, your shoes will thank you. You will thank yourself because you won't smell it and your homies will thank you as well. So those were my top 10 life hacks for sneaker heads, sneaker connoisseurs, whatever you want to call yourself for everyday life and for back to school especially. And just remember that recycling option. That's why I started off with it first. The main mission is always to try to keep your shoes in as best condition for as long as possible so they last the longest. And also, if you want to sell them and recycle them, you can and get some new heat. So that is going to be it, man. If I missed out on any tips that you guys want to give out, listen, drop the keys in the comment section down below. And I will see y'all on the next video. So much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cb by the way here there blase blood of course bullet rc that guy's a hype beast his videos fucking suck. and i will see y'all on the next one y'all be easy i'm out of here i hope this helped peace